the very next morning, the wise men appeared before King Darius to try to trap Daniel with their scheme. You wanted to see me? Yeah. We got some news, good King Darius. We fear your position is precarious. There are some people here in Babylon who won't give you your due. They're rather bow to other men. Can this be so? It's true. Oh dear. We've brought a solution of our own design. If you'll just sign this paper on the dotted line. It's an edict stating most concisely what we're all to do. We must bow our heads or bend our knees before no one but you. I see. <clears throat> Just one more time now, let's see if I've got this great. A law to prove once and for all that I am great. If I'm the king, no one must doubt my full supremacy. So from this day forth my citizens will pray to only me. Yes, but what if they don't? If they don't obey any citizen, will be thrown into the lion's den. Oh, yes. Well, I guess that would do it. All right then, good work, man. Ta-da! So the law was passed, the deed was done. Everyone in Babylon heard about the new law, including Daniel. But Daniel also knew 